Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today, we have a glorious shamanic journeying meditation. I'm going to take you on a powerful shamanic journey. Shamanism represents a sort of universal conceptual framework found among indigenous tribal humans. It includes the belief that the natural world has two aspects, ordinary everyday awareness formed by our habitual behaviors, patterns of belief, social norms, and cultural conditioning. And a second, non-ordinary awareness accessed through altered states or ecstatic trance induced by shamanic practices such as repetitive drumming. The act of entering into an ecstatic trance state is called by some the soul flight or shamanic journey. And it allows the journeyer to view life and life's problems from a detached spiritual perspective, not easily achieved in everyday ordinary consciousness. Basically, shamanic journeying is a way of communicating with your inner spirit self, your spirit guides, and accessing the Akashic record. Your inner self is in constant communication with all aspects of your environment, seen and unseen. You need only journey within to find answers to your questions. To begin this meditation, you should have a question or objective in mind from the start. Shamanic journeying may be undertaken for purposes of divination, for personal healing, to meet one's power animal or spirit guide or for any number of other reasons. After the journey, you must then interpret the meaning of your trance experience. The drum, sometimes called the shaman's horse, provides a simple and effective way to induce ecstatic trance states. When a drum is played at an even tempo of three to four beats per second for at least 15 minutes, most novices report that they can journey successfully even on their first attempt. Transported by the driving beat of the drum, the shamanic traveler journeys to the inner planes of consciousness. According to shamanic cosmology, there are three inner planes of consciousness, the upper, middle, and lower worlds. Humans did not invent these inner realms, they discovered them. Far from being a human contrivance, these archetypal worlds are inherent in your collective unconscious. The common psychological inheritance of humanity. They are woven into the matrix of the psyche. They are a part of our psyche. A part of us whether we choose to become aware of it or not. The three realms are linked together by a vertical axis that is commonly referred to as the world tree. The roots of the world tree touch the lower world. Its trunk is the middle world and its branches hold up the upper world. This central axis exists within us. Through the sound of the drum, the shaman is transported to the axis within and conveyed from plane to plane. There is a bridge on these sound waves so you can go from one world to another. In the sound world, a tunnel opens through which we can pass or the shaman spirits come to us. We are engaging the imagination. Imagination is our portal to the spirit world. Internal imagery enables us to perceive and connect with the inner realms. Imagining what to look for is the first step in achieving any result. The shaman's journey employs the imagination and the use of myth as an inner map gives the shaman a way of imagining non-ordinary reality 
so that he or she may move about intentionally in it. By consciously interacting with the inner imagery, the shaman is able to communicate with spirit guides and power animals. Communication in non-ordinary reality is characteristically archetypal, non-verbal or non-linear in nature. The images we see during a shamanic journey have a universal archetypal quality. Imagery for these experiences is a combination of our imagination and information conveyed to us by the spirits. Our imagination gives the journey a container which helps us to understand the messages we receive. It provides us with a way to understand and articulate the experience for ourselves and to others. So let's begin and prepare for your shamanic journey. Ask yourself a question, something that you perhaps need answers for or guidance on. Get comfortable in your bed or chair. Take a deep breath to help yourself relax. Allow your mind to be quiet and open. Now, close your eyes and let your shamanic journey begin. Listen to the sound of the drums. Focus on the beat. This drum beat is primal in nature. It is of a monotonous design. In time, it will shift your mind into a state in which you will begin to become tuned to the Akashic field. Listen to the sound of the drums. Let the beat become your focus. Feel it wash over you like waves. Feel it in your blood, your bones, your body. Feel the primal earth connection rise up into your feet, flowing through your body, anchoring you as the drumbeat becomes a part of you. You synchronize with it. Synchronizing with the beat of your heart, with the very rhythm of your being.
feel the call of your ancestors and the great future yet to be born. As you now visualize within your mind, you are standing in an ancient forest. Become aware of the forest all around you. Become aware of that unique smell of the trees and flowers and grass. Branches creaking. Squirrels chattering. Leaves rustling. Wind whistling around trunks. The hum of insects rustle of animals in the underbrush, that earthly smell, rotting wood, fresh, stale, damp, wet scents on the wind, the taste of earthy air. There are no roads here. No fences, no signs of civilization. This is an ancient forest, primal. You can smell the scent of moss, old ferns. Somewhere nearby, you can hear the sound of bubbling water. Before you is a huge tree, a redwood with a massive trunk perhaps the largest tree that you've ever seen. The trunk appears to be hollow. There is an entranceway. You step inside. When you're ready, when your mind is emptied of all thought, you step inside this massive tree. As you walk through, you see a whole new world, some other place. Before you is a stairway leading you away from the entrance, downward. Slowly. You walk down the stairs. Each step leading you down into the depths, into a place where your spirit guides and guardians await you. You can smell the strong pine scent and wildflowers as you descend. You feel safe. This is familiar to you. As if you've been here in your dreams or in vision.
you continue down the stairs. You see another entrance, and as you step through it, and you enter into another forest. You didn't think it was possible. This forest is even more glorious than before. More primal. The scents are even richer. You feel the sun shining down on your skin. The air is rich. As you take a deep breath, You see vivid colors with flowers and grass all around you. Nearby, you see a lake, calm, serene, and still. Beyond, you see the forest stretching into infinity, serene and beautiful in every way. Adjust for a moment to your new surroundings. You feel the warm air, great feeling of joy fills you. You can feel the wisdom of this place, for it is alive. Here, you can meet your guardians and your guides. Take a moment to slowly walk around, noticing any signs of life, any animals or other creatures. Become aware and alert keeping your mind open to all that you see and hear. Your guardian spirit often takes the form of an unusual animal. We're often surprised by the form their guardian spirit chooses to take within this realm. Look for a life form nearby. The first life form that reveals itself is very likely one of your guardian spirits. This may take time. Be patient. You may not see your spirit guardian. You may sense them or feel them. themselves at all. That's okay, and it has nothing to do with you. They have their own way of revealing themselves. Patience is a virtue. Take some time to be in this place. Sit down in the soft grass and begin to interact 
with your guardian spirit. Ask them for directions and guidance. Listen to what they say. Be aware of any images, ideas, or feelings that come to you. You may meet multiple guardians in different places at different times. This is your shamanic journey and it is unique to you. Be open and receptive and listen to any guidance. At the end of this journey, as the music changes, it is a sign that your journey is coming to an end. And so, thank your guardians for the wisdom and advice that they give you. Now continue your journey entering into this beautiful state in this Akashic field, connecting to your guardians and guides and allow the journey to open up within you, specific to you.
it is very likely that you received a lot of information during this meditation in this enhanced state coexisting within the Akashic field. Much of this information may be within your subconscious mind and may come to you later on during the week. Write it down. Put it in your notes. Record it. This information may be ongoing. You've been given information from your guides, from your higher self, and it is all important to you as you've journeyed within this realm. Your shamanic journey now comes to a close. Thank your guardians for the information they have given you. Slowly come back to yourself and when you're ready, you can open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and toes, and rest a moment aware of the powerful state that you've been in during this meditation. Now go out into the day carrying this powerful information within you. And welcome to the Reality Revolution. <laughs>